Welcome to the Trident Analyst tutorial on working with images. In this tutorial, I will provide a quick overview on the supported image type, and then go into detail on working with imaging data, including using a run layer to load imaging files, defining a path for imaging files, loading imaging files from the 3D map, and viewing the clips. Trident Analyst supports several imaging types, including AVI files, PGR files, JPEG files, and images from a URL. AVI is a standard file format for digital videos. PGR is an image clip from a Trimble G360 spherical camera. JPEG are images linked to one another with an image file called a GPX. Images from a URL are useful if you want to view an external AVI image or give another analyst access to the AVIs to view. Note that these images are view only. You cannot use them for extracting features. The types of images you use depends on how they are captured and what kind of feature extraction project you are working with. This tutorial will focus on working with AVI, which is the default file type used by Trident Analyst. You can simplify your workflow by using a run layer to automatically load AVI files. A run layer is a centralized GIS polyline layer that spatially identifies all imaging, point cloud, and trajectory data that was recorded during a data collection sequence. It facilitates data exchange between Trident Capture and Trident Analyst applications and allows you to load and configure all raw data in Trident Analyst from a single click on the 3D map. When you add a run layer, you add a link to the project database. To add a link to the project database, go to the Windows Start menu, select Control Panel, and click Administrative Tools. Select Data Source ODBC from the list. The ODBC Source Administrator window appears. If you are the only user for the computer, select the User DSN tab. If you share the computer with other users and want the ODBC link to be available to them, then select the System DSN tab. The steps are the same for both. Click Add and then select the driver for your database format. I will select Microsoft Access Driver and click Finish. Enter a name to help you identify the project. Then click Select. The Select Database dialog appears. Locate the database you would like to link to. Select it from the list and click OK. Click OK again. Now you can see that the database is added to the System Data Sources list. Click OK to exit ODBC. Now launch the Trimble Trident Analyst software. From the Tools menu, select Project Database, then select Open a Connection. The Open Project Database Connection Wizard appears. From the drop down menu, select the connection you just created and click Next. The software will test to see if the connection is valid. If there is no error, the message will show that the connection was successful. By default, the software will add this location to the data path property. Click Finish to exit the wizard. Notice that four new ODBC layers have been added to the GIS panel. Before you can load the imaging data from a run layer project, you must define the root path for the raw data. This feature simplifies overall data management and loading processes into Trident Analyst. If a path is not defined correctly, the imaging files will not load and an error message will appear in the message log. To define the data path, go to the Tools menu and select Options. In the Data Path field, enter the path for your imaging files or click Browse to locate them. The AVI files are saved in your project's Run Data folder. Click OK to exit this window. Now that you've defined the working path for the imaging data, you can load the AVI files from the Run Layer. To do this, go to the 3D map. It will show all the runs for your particular project. Zoom into a run and using the Find Clips tool, click on the run line to load the clip. The clips are now loaded in your project pane. It shows the clips from the right, center, and left cameras and automatically created a group with these clips. To change the group's properties, right-click the group and select Properties. Here, you can change the group's name and set how you want the images to be grouped. You can synchronize it using GPS time or GPS coordinates. Using GPS time allows you to synchronize multiple imaging sources that were captured at the same time. Using GPS coordinates enables you to synchronize imagery that was collected at different times by position. This is most commonly used when scrolling and comparing imagery data that was gathered along the same corridor over consecutive years. Then click OK. You can expand the group view to see the clips underneath it. The current view is the group view with images from all three cameras. If you want to view the clips individually, you can right-click on each clip and select Set as Active Floating Clip. To return back to the group view, right-click on the group and select Set as Active Group. 
If you wish to create a new group, select Create Groups from the toolbar and drag the clips you would like to add to the new group from the list of clips. For example, Group 2 will only consist of clips from my center and right cameras. There are several options for viewing the clips. The playback toolbar at the bottom provides standard commands for viewing the clips. Press play to play the clip at normal speed. Play 2x plays the clip at twice the normal speed. Play 4x plays the clip at four times the normal speed, so every fourth image is shown. Press first frame to return to the beginning and last frame to show the end. Click on temporal tick marks and select the frame number you wish to jump to from the drop-down list. Use the previous mark and next mark to go to the previous or next predefined tick mark. The playback menu at the top also has these same functions. You can also use the playback slider to navigate the clips. Your mouse's wheel is another convenient way to navigate the clips. You can scroll forward or backward using the mouse wheel. To zoom in or out, hold control while scrolling. To pan, hold control and the middle mouse button at the same time. To jump 10 images forward or backward, hold Alt while scrolling forward or backward. Finally, you can use the 3D map to jump to an image location. Using the Move To button at the top, click on the point that you wish to jump to. As you view the clip, the navigation information for your vehicle's location appears on the status bar at the bottom of the window. To see the complete navigation information, click the GPS info pane or hit the F6 hotkey. If you wish to adjust the viewing quality of the clip, right-click on it and select Video Properties. Here you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and other properties. Note that adjustments will only affect the viewing quality. It will not affect the video file. That is it for this tutorial on working with images. Thanks for watching.